print email Facebook Twitter more recovering commodity prices spark Tasmanian mining resurgence media player space to play M to mute left and right to seek o o colon o o o o colon 5100 colon o o o o colon 51 in Tasmania's rugged northwest mining is rumbling into action once again after years of economic uncertainty commodity prices are recovering and optimism is rising Damien McLean has just finished packing up his lunch, 1,600 metres under the earth. He's been working a 12-hour shift and underground shift boss at MMG Mine in the small town of Rosebury on Tasmania's rugged and remote west coast. McLean and his colleagues can't get or out of the ground fast enough. We've been flat out, he said, standing in a cramped 4 by 2 metre room that serves as the lunch room. This is the best it's been in years. After years of weak commodity prices following on from the global financial crisis, which prompted one expert to warn of the death of Tasmania's mining sector within 10 years, a rally in oil prices last year has seen mining companies across the island state pump money back into the business. At the Savage River Mine, owner Grange Resources is now looking into the possibility of underground operations to capitalize on recovering iron ore prices. Grange General Manager Ben Maynard remembers the dark times two years ago. Things were unsteady. It reached some significant lows in 2015, which makes things pretty margin, he said. Thankfully, we've seen that recover probably to double that level now. With the value of iron ore doubling from around $40 to nearly $80 a tonne, Mr Maynard says there is growing confidence mining will remain profitable in the state for years to come. For a start, we're looking at a $10 million drilling operation as the first part of a pre-feasibility study to look at the potential to go underground, Mr Maynard said. He's cautiously optimistic. The mining industry is volatile, there's no question about that, he said. Mining is in Gilbert Charles' blood. The circular head local has been in the industry for 50 years. His father worked as a miner, and his son has just taken up an apprenticeship at Grange. Mr Charles is relieved the company is rehiring after shedding 55 jobs two years ago. A couple of years back prices were bad, we made redundancies, he said. Now we're starting to build the team back up and it's good for morale. It makes me feel very relieved, and it's fed. My family and my son's just got an apprenticeship here. It's a sense of buoyancy shared by Jenkins Crone, manager of operations at the MMG mine in Rosebury. On average, I'd say our prices went up by about 40% since 2015, which is significant, he said. The Chinese-owned mine is making a profit and has pumped more than $50 million into a new processing facility and millions more into exploration. We're currently doing underground exploration drilling to look for more or at the value of about $16 million, which leads to more jobs he said. Just exploration is 45 extra people on site doing drilling for us, he added. Analyst warns of dangers of increasing supply Sam Baker, a financial analyst at Shadforth Group, warns the market could be a victim of its own successes. We've seen a recovery in commodity prices over the last 18 months. That's seen the zinc price now sitting at nearly 10-year highs, he said. We've seen iron ore up about 75% in the last 18 months, and that's seen some local mines more profitable. There is a lot of demand coming in from China, and emerging markets for commodities, particularly iron ore and zinc. However with more supply potentially coming on globally, that could potentially put pressure on commodity prices in the future. Mr Baker expects more mining operations to come online. This would put downward pressure on prices, Mr Baker said. The other issue to keep in mind is Chinese demand. Any issue that would affect their demand would also upset the market. For Mr McLean, the boom has brought him valuable time with his family in Tasmania and helped him avoid fly-in fly-out work. If things had kept going south it would have been really hard for us, he said. I would have had to go overseas or back to Western Australia to do fly-in fly-out, but I wanted to be community-based because I have a young family," he said. The optimism expressed by mining managers is shared by the workers deep underground. It's a great time to be a miner, it's a good time for everyone to come up through the ranks, so there's a lot more new faces and a lot more scope for Tassie, Mr McLean said. Both Grange and MMG hope to continue production into the next two decades. On the horizon, if a US-China trade war was to escalate, it could blow a hole in profits. But while the good times continue, these miners will keep digging in. Print email 